Hello y'all. Welcome to part three of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part two, we officially started the Re Reconquista on the Kingdom of Spain and we captured the Riff and we're currently in the process of taking all of the Rio de Oro area. And we're going to take that for the esoteric realm of the true France. Right now we have our Navy moving around somewhere and what they're supposed to do is arrive to this port in the Rif and establish naval supremacy in the western Mediterranean Sea and then we'll send some naval invasions into Spain. We'll take a few cities here or there, here or there, and we'll just secure control as much as we can, then try to flow in with as many divisions as we can and take as many places as, poss as possible for Morocco. That's the goal right now. We just need to push into Spain, get our troops across the Gibraltar Strait or whatever, and well, not the Gibraltar Strait, but get across the Mediterranean and win the win the war that way. That is the objective for those guys. Keep giving some more divisions to the was it to our forces here, to the first army. They got like seven new infantry divisions, and they're just waiting. Where's the navy at? Have they got here yet? They're still in. They're still moving around. They're in the Red Sea. They're still moving to the Rif. They had to go all around through Africa, well, by Africa. They had to go to the tip of Africa, and now they had to come up by the eastern side of Africa and make their way through the Mediterranean to this port we have in the Rif region. And once we have the Navy here establishing naval supremacy, we'll prepare our attack. Well, we need to get the convoys ready to go. Standoff in America is taking place. Just patrol the seas, please and launch naval invasions once they're ready, I beg of you. Hopefully we can establish naval supremacy in a short amount of time, because if we can't, we'll have some issues, and there seems to be a naval invasion force approaching our land right now. Let's give some divisions to the 3rd Army. Their goal is to just watch the places we capture. They're going to be like our garrison force. That's what their goal is. We have a naval invasion force landing near Casablanca, a Spanish naval invasion going down there. Let's send some units of the second Moroccan army to go stop them from making any progress. Can this naval invasion go yet, please? I need naval supremacy. I beg of you. Okay, good. We have naval supremacy. And a few of our divisions may be, may be able to get some territory under their control. And once they can, we'll flood in with more troops. Good. Set up this order, please. Give them a bunch of very aggressive orders. Just how to say execute the orders and a execute the battle plans aggressively give them like maybe several divisions there there we are nine divisions are going to go to that area and push out from there 18 divisions in all are going to go toward that landing site of Almira and try to push there advance as quickly as possible unify the front lines please that's one thing we do need need we do need to accomplish that and we'll try to push on from there so let's have all the units of the first army actually group up here and then just begin pushing as hard as they can into Spain. Just advance as hard as possible, as fast as possible in, a, in an aggressive manner. Use force attack and just try to overwhelm whatever we run into. Oh my goodness, get the orders set up, please. We gotta get a new front line drawn up. I think we need to do that. So let's have all of our units do that. Delete all those orders cause it's just messy to look at. And let's get a offensive line drawn up here. And we need to win this war as fast as we can because eventually there will be a time where the, how to say, the, the, what am I going to say? The Spanish will have to deal with their civil war, and that means they will have more units pop up. Well, the CNT-5 and the, what is it? The CNT-5 and the Carlos will pop up as their own independent countries, and we won't beat them in a war, technically. That won't count as a victory for us. Can we just stop this naval invasion here? What I'm saying is there'll be some breakaways from Spain that count as their own independent countries. And even though we can beat, we'll beat the Kingdom of Spain, we've got to beat them too in other wars. So can we push here, please? Just push as hard as we can. Get to Madrid. Get to everywhere. Stop the advance here. Please stop. Socialists assume full control of Norway. All right. Keep pushing. Push as hard as we can. These troops have no orders. What are you doing? Get off the beaches. Push as hard as you can. Just make your way out of Almeria and get rid of that naval invasion, not the naval invasion, but push through all their defenses. We have a troop now holding out in Madrid, near Madrid, and they're gonna have a fun time there. Have we stopped this naval invasion yet? No, that naval invasion is still going on. Doctrine's available, let's do mass assault. 
There's a civil war in the USA. That's going on. The second American civil war begins. Okay. Any more doctrine stuff available? No. More divisions are, are available, though. Send a couple divisions to the first army. P please keep pushing, guys. Just push. That's all you gotta do. Push and get off the beach. Just get more inland to Spain. We gotta overwhelm them and win as fast as we can. I know it's a little harder than we thought it was because their divisions are everywhere. But we gotta do what we can and just get to Madrid and get to Barcelona, for example. Get those places that have a lot of victory point value and just win by taking control of those areas, those states. So just push, push, never stop pushing. Just advance, take Toledo up here, try to get to Madrid. We need Madrid, Valencia, capture any and all, any and all cities that CNA will be of any importance with victory points. Capture this place, Valencia. Go up to Barcelona now, push up there. Keep advancing. Go to Burgos up here. Old Castile, whatever. We gotta get Gibraltar. Please capture Gibraltar and capture where? Get Cadiz, maybe. Is Gibraltar of any value? It is of some value, victory point wise. It, that's what matters for us. Capture that place then. Follow Gibraltar. It's been captured by Morocco. Can we get to Madrid, please? Get to Madrid. Capture every place up here. We need to win this war as fast as possible. Get to there. Can we push the troops out of. Oh no, we gotta push those troops out of where? Push some troops out of. Get some units assigned here, please. Push these units out of Cartagena and defend Valencia. That's all I gotta do. Take these areas for us. Get some troops here for the second army. Get rid of this invasion, invasion, naval invasion force. And then send the second Moroccan army to Spain. We need to get some more places under our control. We can't take Morocco yet. We're trying to. It's not going so well. Take Bilbao, I think it's called. Whatever. Capture it. It's in Navarra. That's under our control now. Hold that place down. Try to anyway. Get to Lyon. Capture it. Capture everything. Left Kuomintang has capitulated. That's in China. That faction has fallen apparently. And some of these units here have abandoned their lines. Great. So we need to keep pushing. We need to take back Gibraltar apparently. Kingdom of Canada declared war on Panama. Okay. Can we get to Madrid? Get to Madrid. What are you guys doing? Just keep pushing. Get to Barcelona. There's so many places we got to focus on capturing in such a short amount of time. Panama Canal crisis. Okay. Why can you guys just accept we're going to win? You're going to be broken up by the Spanish Civil War anyway. Just give up. Give up. That's all you got to do. Move your divisions and give up. This is going to be so annoying once we have to deal with the other factions of Spain very soon. Capture Salamanca. Push here. Peru Bolivian Confederation established or something like that. Get to Toledo maybe. There's so many encircled divisions here. It's so annoying. Get rid of them. Push them out of the way. Just take more places for us. Get more control, please. Get to Madrid. Surround Madrid. I don't care. Surround Madrid. Capture it before they try to bail out of it. We'll capture it and hope they leave. Okay, one unit is moving. They're moving away from Madrid. Good. Maybe we can capture it before they get back there. They're going to take some random province. You do you. Random Spanish division that was defending the Spanish capital. You do you. So take La Corona. We have a good national spirit that lets us move very fast with our divisions. The fall of Madrid has occurred. That is a boon for us. We need to keep being aggressive as possible here. What is even left for Spain in terms of important cities? Barcelona, I figured. Barcelona. It all, all comes down to Barcelona, doesn't it? Push here. Get to Barcelona. Why do you got to defend Barcelona so hard? I know it's an important city, but in the context of our situation, just please give up. So I'm making this hard for us. We're going to win anyway. We need to keep pushing, push here, take Seville, take Gibraltar. Okay, they're still holding down some places, which is annoying, but it's whatever. Can we take take Gibraltar at Barcelona, please? Just capture it. How many more cities do you have? Anchin Clique recognizes Fingtian, which is another clique, I think, whatever. How many more cities do you have? Just give up Barcelona. We need this to be over very, very soon. I don't have enough time for you guys. Okay, they capitulated, good. We now have full control, fall of Barcelona has occurred. We now have full control over the Kingdom of Spain's territory, and we did it just in time before all of their land was divided between the three different factions of the Spanish Civil War. Spanish Civil War that usually occurs in this timeline between Carlos Spain, the CNT Phi, the C, I don't know how to really, they're like anarchists, and the Kingdom of Spain. So we don't have to worry about that, worry about that now. We have full control over everything. 
and we should have cores on every state in the world shortly. Let's move our units up here and by cores on every state in the world, I will show you what I mean by that in a little bit. So now we have to move the first army up here over, no, move them to the, I did not know they had an impassable terrain here in the, I guess the, not the parent, what are these mountains here? But these mountains, yeah, Pyrenees Mountains, they're just, they're impassable. That is is what it is, but that's just how that works. Anyway, let's do the focus. Much greater plans. To re-reconquista was only a step in Gunan's broad plans. We must see things in a bigger picture. Humanity is lost without us, and it is our duty to save it. And from this focus, every state in the world will become a core of the esoteric realm of the true France. We'll get 13 off-map military factories, 13 off-map civilian factories, and 13 off-map naval dockyards. Pretty powerful focus. And our divisions are going to be moving into Spain now. They'll be setting up to maybe attack the French, the Commune of France, in the near future. And we're going to be fighting the Commune of France. So that's what's going to go down probably. Nijs declared war on Jamal, Jabal Shamir. That's in the Arabian Peninsula. Whatever, we need more divisions here to do like garrison duty for ports and stuff, especially in Spain. We need how many divisions here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 12, 13, we need a lot more infantry divisions, 14, 16, okay, how many more, 17, any more ports, is that it, 17 divisions for our garrison army, that seems what we need, 17 divisions, so to get 17 divisions once they're ready to go, 17 infantry divisions on Morocco, and the Argentinian National State is now fighting the Patagonian Workers Front. Let's give some divisions over to the 3rd Army, which does garrison duty. The Chilean-Argentinian War has started, and I think Paraguay is also fighting against Argentina. Argentina is fighting like three countries at once. And let's do the ex let's do Excavation 2 in our focus, well, in the research tree. And there's some syndicalist revolutionaries in Switzerland. There's a conscription crisis in Quebec. All right, then. And how much longer, much greater plans will be done? After that, we will complete return to our homeland. And what that means... Well, I'll show you what that means in a little bit once we're ready to do that. The 1937 Dutch elections have occurred. Not really relevant to us, but it's world news. And more divisions are ready to go. Let's start maybe having these divisions be deployed. Actually, no, we'll still have them deployed in Morocco. We'll soon be ready to fight the French commune, though, in, an, in the near future. And the reason I say that is because we focus just for this occasion. Sweden joined the Reichs Pact, and I'll... Let me show you what that is. Much greater plans is done. Return to our homeland. This is what I was meaning by us fighting the commune of France. Our native land is in the hand of socialists without God. And, well, what Gunan views, they have no morals, according to René Gunan. According to this focus, anyway. The whole French people calls René and Gunan to come and liberate them from the Red Torment, as it's stated in this focus. Gunan has heard them while he already imagines his troops marching under the Arc de Triomphe and passing in front of the Eiffel Tower soon. And once this focus is done, we'll declare war on the Commune of France. And of course, by fighting the Commune of France, we'll be fighting against their allies in the Third International, which at this point consists of the Un Union of Britain, Malta, the Norwegian Union, it's Norway, and the Socialist Republic of Italy. So five countries will be fighting against the esoteric realm of the true France. It should be a pretty fair fight though considering how powerful our national spirits are and how much manpower we have at this point. And plus, since we have cores on every state in the world, anything we manage to take in France will be under our control. Well, not per se, well, it will be under our control with occupation. What I mean is, I mean more so the fact we'll have cores instantly on anything. We won't have to worry about resistance at all. And doctrines available. There's now a civil war in Brazil between the Regency of Brazil and the Brazilian Republican Army. Get more divisions recruited here. They'll go to the 2nd and 3rd Army. I don't know what that event said, but it's whatever. And our divisions are going to be ready here. More divisions for the 3rd Army. Regency of Brazil. And the Regency of Brazil is fighting against the Brazilian Republican Army. The They're fighting against Sao Paulo and Rio Grande do Sul. And it should be noted the Regency of Brazil is integralist. They are national populist. That's what the ruling ideology of the Regency of Brazil is. Unassigned divisions here. Icelandic independence has occurred. Give more divisions over to the third army. We may need to make actually. Let's go ahead and make a fourth 
army for Morocco, so we'll just have them ready to go. So they just all won't be garrison troops. New commander, it's going to be a generic commander, but it's all good, though. And with our preparations being made to go fight against the Commune of France, I'm going to end part three of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in, Hearts and, in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kaiser Redux. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later.